I've won, but I believe there's a protest, so okay. If I don't win, I'll just win tomorrow. She came once again. It's wheel to wheel. Hamilton have a And this time it's Stephen. And Hamilton have crashed out. And they are both out. And he can cover his hands over his eyes. And he won't want to see that again. We have the safety car out here. Bits of carbon fibre are showering the track. Yeah, I got a couple of touches um, from Filthy Phil Hughes. Watch yourself. You know, I don't know what happens behind me. You know? Oh my God, I think I'm worn out, but yeah, great weekend. Uh, it was enough for the win. Looking forward to um, wherever we're going next. <laughs> Drake will start on pole position over Scott Borman, the ha ha ha, the joker out there on track. something more underneath the uh, 44. Oh, under brakes goes the 66. And here comes JP down the inside. And that is a massive threshold of braking race. Today he is leading the run. But have a look at JP again, under brakes. You drive all weekend long for John Paul Drake, defending his championship. Ricky Bobby, what? Bit scared, Ricky. Hey, bit scared, Mr. Bobby. <laughs> In the days, I feel like I'm riding a wave. My life is a roller. These guys at the moment, John Paul Drake will be in his head going, I want to win, I want to win, I'm going to win, I'm a winner, I'm going to win, I'm going to win. John Paul Drake doing a tremendous job as well. He works very hard on just about every part of his life. Not only his fitness, his presence of mind, his health of mind. He keeps himself very, very busy. Let's just have a little look. He's got on the grass. Oh, once you get on the grass pole, there's no escaping. No, not like he car snapped or anything, he just ran out of road, didn't he? Unavoidable. It's a mistake, isn't it? And the car, well, that it needs to be on the grid ready for lights out in what? Four hours and uh, five minutes, five and a half minutes time. Look at that. Now that is the fucking advantage of having a proper nose cone. Yeah, it wasn't, wasn't the best, um, best effort I've had. But the racing was mega until then, so yeah. Oh well, you win some, you lose some. So as you can see, it's back together. And the big question is, can we win? Of course. Phil Hughes, I got fresh tires. Like radical racer, the SR8 driver. Phil Hughes just Very starting great. to struggle. Wolf doing a tremendous job. John Paul Drake looks right round the outside here. Phil Hughes having none of it. And whoa, another rare mistake there for JP. He goes off, and on one of these uh, flat bottom cars, you do not want to be bouncing across the top of the ripple strip there. A couple of great blokes giving each other a big embrace there. I mean, who wants JP to win? No one here. <laughs> I'd like to say JP, but the front of Jason's car is really strong, so it's really anyone's game. So, uh, I know he's going to take it out. Matt Baraguanaf is going to take the trophy out of its box, uh, and that's the most important thing. Uh, so yeah, he'll take it out. So really good start for those two drivers, and JP Drake just hanging back in third place there, ready to pounce when he's ready. And JP Drake, his fastest time before this lap was 1.53, in, you know, around there now he's gone now he's 151 too so he's actually almost gone two seconds faster on his last lap so he's doing 
uh, a wonderful job there. And um, he's got Borman, Borman almost should be going for the move might. beforehand. Maybe all right. He's going on the inside. Can he get the move done on JP Drake? And I think no, he's going on the outside now. No, JP says no, thank you. I want to stay in second place. And Paul Drake mirrors filled, absolutely filled with Scott Borman's Coyote Voodoo powered Wolf Extreme F1. I win the championship. I think. Well, so, here you go. Congratulations. He's won the championship. There you go. There we go. So I'd just like to say thank you. Thanks to all those people. John Paul Drake, two, uh, two titles now. He was very happy to see that checkered flag that time around. You get yourself to a point where it's just you've got to ride out the rest of the season. And uh, he has done a brilliant job again. The Joker.